Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph. Thanks so much for being here. Today we are going to be looking at a product from Sephora, so like Sephora's collection. Um, I got it a little while, not a while, like a little bit back, like a couple weeks ago or whatever. So it's this palette right here. This is called the, I have it on my screen, so just the Medium Shopping Bag Makeup Palette. So this is $32. Um, so if we just open it up, it has a lot of eyeshadows there. And then on the sides, it has little compartments. I can't, ah! It has some blush and highlight. And this is contour, but I didn't want to use it because it's shimmery. And I don't like using like shimmery contour. And then on the other side here, it has some lip products. So I thought, why not let's just give it a try. So obviously I've done my foundation, my concealer, powder, like bronzy kind of light eyebrows. Um, so let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing I think I'm going to start with is the blush. So... Let's open the correct side of this. Okay. Ah. Okay, this thing is really hard to keep open. Okay, so these are the colours here. I think I might go for this one right here. So I'll just grab my blush brush. Just the one that's stained pink forever. <laughs> and I will just... I don't know if this is going to... Yeah, this is a... Okay. I'll show you the problem, right? Look how big my brush is compared to the the palette. I guess because you get a whole bunch. Okay, maybe I'll just do these two colors, and then we'll see. Okay, so I applied it. Now I look a little bit dolly, like dolly. Yeah, like a doll because when I first put it on there was like nothing came up so I kind of like pushed my brush in a little bit harder and then I applied it and this happened I try to fix it I mean it's not awful but also like I gotta keep in mind that the rest of my makeup isn't on like my eyes and stuff so it will look a bit weird um but yeah the blush is like all right actually it's a nice shade I like how they have three different shades of the blush as well so I could work to potentially a range of skin tones um but yeah I mean it's all right so in this palette there's a lot of like brighter colors so why not use them they are really small pans as well um but so I have primed my eyes just with like you know concealer and then some powder so let's get into this eye look Okay, so I just put up my hair really quickly just to do my eyes. I know it's not, you know, beautiful, but we'll deal with it. So I'm just going to grab my fluffy brush here, go into a brown shade here. Don't know if you can see that. Yep. So that colour is quite pigmented there. The only thing is, it's a bit patchy. And I have been blending for like a good couple of minutes. So it's a bit patchy. Maybe when I start blending with other colours, it will kind of like fade out, you know. But just thought I should let you guys know that it's a bit patchy. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this greeny shade. Let's see what happens. Wait, let's just... Okay, that, so that's, I try to swatch it, and that's what happens, so. I mean, if it stuffs up, I guess it won't be that pigmented. <laughs> okay, now it just looks like someone punched me in the eye, and it looks like mud. Mmm. I don't know how I feel about this eyeshadow. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to go off camera really quickly, try and figure out what is happening here, and then I'll be back and do the other eye on camera. <sighs> so 
so I went away, tried to do that green look, then it just turned into my my eyes. Then I just took it off because I had enough of it. Then I decided, oh, I'll go with a blue eye because that blue looks really pigmented. And it did look like someone punched me in the eye. So I went back to the first transition color I did, which was this, uh, this one here. And now it just looks really, really dark. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of like a natural kind of looking eye. And I'm like, I'm really not happy, but I've gotta get to the edge of this because I've gotta try the highlighter. <laughs> and I'm just kind of like, Argh! it's like literally for five, like when I was trying to do this different eye looks, I was literally like, I'm just gonna scrap this whole video because it's annoying me. So, I'm just going to continue this eye, this eye look, and then we'll just do that. So, we'll just fast forward to that, and I'll tell you after I've done it, like, we'll fast forward through it, and then I'll tell you, after, like, you know, when it's done, you know, how I feel about that process, <laughs> okay? So, let's go. <laughs> quickly before we continue why is this eye darker than this eye and it is the same shadow just free throw it <laughs> okay well that was a bloody adventure <laughs> literally trying and not to yell at this palette. <laughs> it is so patchy and it just turns super muddy and dark and this eye applied darker than this eye for some reason and so I was like oh I'll just throw some liner and mascara on and hopefully it will fix it. No it doesn't it's still really bad and I'm really annoyed at it but I still got a couple more things to test out in this palette so let's go on to that. Okay, so let's give this highlighter a go. I think I'm going to go for this goldy one here because it's really pretty. Um, so I'm going to grab my highlighting brush that I use all the time. Hello. Um... Yeah, this just keeps getting better and better. Yeah, cool. So no highlighter for me. I'm just, I'm just gonna get to the end of this video. I've come this far. Okay, lips. Now, I don't usually use lip palettes, but I'm like, well, I'll give it a go because in first I thought, how bad can it be? And now I'm expecting, well, pretty bad. So let's get into it. I kind of want to do a nudie color just because I'm like, ugh, so over this look. So I'm thinking maybe this one here next to that pink. And if it doesn't work, we'll just stop it with some other stuff. So I've just grabbed my, I don't know if I have a lip pencil. Is this a lip pencil? Pen? No, brush. That's what I meant. Let's just use this one. All right. Oh. That is a consistency and a ha. Can you see? Oh, no, come back. Can you see? I just touched it. I didn't even go hard on it. All right. Okay, well, that's orange. Maybe these are glosses. Wait, let me have a look. Because if these are glosses, then I would feel kind of, you know. Oh, it is. It is. It's lip gloss. Okay, I'm going to go put on some lipstick and then put this on top. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put on some matte lipstick. I look horrendous. I am so bad at this look. Um, anyway. So I think I'm just going to grab some of that lip gloss and then put it on my lip and like kind of tap it out. So I'm just going to use my finger instead of a lip brush, which is good. There's kind of like this, this one here. Okay. Do 
might be goes a pretty look. Yeah, but it's really sticky lip gloss. Okay, so now that the look's done, let's jump into my final review. Well, if some of you can't guess how I feel about this palette, I might ask you to just, you know, rewind mainly to the eyeshadow section. Um, because this is a, it's a bit of a mess. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit uh, patchy. Um, the blush doesn't turn up first go, and then if you go in too hard, it's like you're a doll. The lip gloss is pretty, but it is sticky. So I'm really sorry, this is kind of, <laughs> you know, brutally honest. <laughs> but like, I don't like this. I'm really mad at it actually. It was $32, which look, isn't a lot and like I guess you could be like oh but like you know you're paying less and then you know that kind of like compromises the quality no that's a lie because the Maybelline stuff right that I got the palettes are less than this and it looks better than this so they don't compromise price but anyway I just wouldn't recommend you guys getting this I thought maybe it could be a good idea but after like a good idea in terms of gifts but after like trying it it's really frustrating and if you try and blend the colors together it just turns into mud on your face and I really would not recommend it so oh that was a triumph to get through that video uh, <laughs> but I hope you guys learned something from this video I mean if you didn't enjoy it that's fine because doing this eyeshadow really kind of rubbed me the wrong way and so um but yeah, no, I hope you kind of enjoyed my review and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!